Hey all here, OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the Govi Lyra. This is a smart floor lamp that has a really modern design, just this super slim profile. And if you put it into the corner of a room, it can just cast this mesmerizing atmospheric light. And like other smart lights from this company that we've seen in the past, including this table lamp on the edge, it has multiple lighting effects that you can customize with over 16 million shades of colors and transition effects that you can play around with. And it's also Wi-Fi connected, meaning that you can control it using the companion app or using voice assistance to turn it on or off. So all of this is, again, similar to other products that they've released in the past, and it's all compatible using the same Govi Home app. It measures about 4.75 feet tall, so a little under 5 feet. So you're probably wondering how an entire floor lamp can fit into the box that we have here that's about the size of two smartphones stacked on top of each other. I mean, this box is tiny, and the reason is because there is a little bit of assembly that's needed. The metal pole that you see here is actually detached into three different sections, which looks like this, and you simply attach these together using the included screwdriver and screws. The process is still really easy. From taking it out of the box, it took me just around under five minutes to put everything together. It's all labeled, and it's one, two, three in terms of the process, similar to IKEA furniture. And it's a flexible tube. You just connect a cable at the base that provides power, and then you just slide the entire kind of translucent LED tube that contains all the lights into this metal rail. It saves on space in terms of having that folding design it gets up to 1,500 lumens in terms of brightness, which is okay in terms of getting some work done. Though if it's pointing in a corner, it may not illuminate an entire room. Alright, so here is what the Lyra looks like once we have it fully assembled and connected to power. In terms of the construction quality, the main tube portion is constructed out of aluminum alloy, so it does have a pretty a solid and clean look. Uh, there is a section on here which is optional, and that is a magnetic attachment that you can use to stick on the remote control. It makes it easy to just remove it from the lamp so that you don't lose it, and then when you're done using the remote, if you don't want to use voice assistant or use the companion app, you can just stick it onto the a rod here again. You can choose to remove it completely if you want to have a uninterrupted design. Otherwise, if we kind of turn the lamp around, you can see that again, that's basically the LED lights. And then right to the very base, again, this is where everything just sticks together. Uh, the base portion here is made out of a polycarbonate plastic, but it's heavy enough to support the lamp without it falling over. Although I will say that it seems to work a little bit better perhaps on a hardwood or a flat surface, which is easiest for it to stay upright because of the smaller surface area on the base and the fact that it's such a tall, narrow lamp. So that is one thing where maybe if they had chosen a slightly different shape for the base, for example, something that has a edge like that, two feet, which naturally makes it stick into a corner, might also help the balance a little bit. But overall, it still looks quite clean. Starting off with the remote control, it is overall pretty compact, and we have basic functions on here. Although you can't cycle through all of the scenes using it directly, for those full manual control and advanced settings, you still have to use the app, but at least you are able to quickly turn the lamp on. We'll remember the last setting that it was on, and adjust things like the brightness level. We can make it actually brighter or dimmer to give you some levels of control there. And you can also change through some of the main colors just by tapping on the main button here. So this will cycle through some shades like green. There's also going to go into a bluish shade. Uh, so you can change some of those common colors just directly on here one at a time. And here's a yellow slash white light. Now we can also change the color temperature as well on each shade. So the left side here you can tap on to go warmer and the right side here to go cooler. So for example now it will get gradually colder into a slightly more neutral slash white light versus warmer. It's gonna become more yellow, as you can see there, almost a candle light. Now there's also another button on here, which is gonna be the reactive music mode that you can press on. And now it will basically be flashing to the music that it hears using the built-in microphone. Uh, you can press it again to go into some of the other settings, like another flashing mode. Press on it again. Here is another one that's like a falling ball that as it hits the bottom, it will just bounce back up to the top. Another mode here is kind of returning us back into this rainbow-like effect, and another one here that kind of stacks, so it will kind of come together and then bounce back again. Uh, so those are some of the preset effects that you have in terms of the dynamic animations. So some of the controls here include changing the brightness level as well as some of the preset uh, scenes. So in here, it's very similar to the other smart lights we've checked out from them. It comes with all of these different effects, which you can set it up and it will stay it this way. The sunset theme, so this one will change it into kind of a yellowish and orange color that slowly changes a little bit to give you some variation. 
And the next one here is called Ocean, that's mostly blue and turquoise, also slightly strobing. Here is one called Forest, which is yellow and green, also slowly changing back and forth, looks great. Another one called Sunset Glow, which is pretty similar to Sunset, but just has some slightly more reddish hues to it. Another one here called Ripple, which will, as the name implies, kind of stem from the center and move outwards in terms of the color. And uh, here was the kind of full rainbow color that we just took a look at originally. Meteor is another one that kind of crashes downwards like this, another pretty dazzling effect. We also have one called Aura, which is another kind of beautiful gradient color here in the background. Now that's only the first tab of transition effects, so just like on the other lamps we saw from them, there's even more categorized under different genres, like life-based effects, there's emotion-based, festival-based, which is special holidays. But underneath life, you'll find things like a leisure mode as well as a nightlight. So the nightlight will just turn it to the dimmest setting, basically. It's a very faint glow, so you can turn it on even at night when you're sleeping. Here is a romantic one, and here's also fireworks that kind of just goes upwards and then explodes in ripples. As you can see, there actually is a pretty convincing effect, artificial fireworks created by the light, which is one of my favorite dynamic effects here. Now under emotion, you can find more ones like a breathing one, as well as a gradient finish. So all of these will just slowly change through the colors one at a time, uh, but it still is pretty beautiful to see. And another one here called energetic has a more abrupt transition. Finally, under festival, we have the aforementioned Halloween, which is just a more ominous orange that slowly kind of glows and flashes, sets the tone, and Christmas, which is going to be green and red, uh, slowly flashing in these festive colors. The final tab called Funny is going to give you a few more dynamic animations like stacking. So this one here, it will basically grow larger and larger as you can see the lights until it resets. One here called Greedy Snake, eating the pieces on the wall. Another one called Bouncing Ball, which is just the uh, kind of light here just getting taller and taller when the beam hits the bottom. One here called Strike, which is another good one that basically um, as the two pieces collide, they will go in the opposite directions and change color. This one here called Bubble, which is just these streams going upwards. Finally, there's one called Crossing, which is also having two colors which collide, but afterwards they will follow each other in the same direction. So those are some of the uh, effects that you have. You can also change everything to one static color, and it gives you a ton of granular control where you can even change the color of each section of the tube. Specific shades of colors getting really granular and detailed. Uh, all the different colors of blues and purples and pinks can all be tweaked one at a time. Other functions on here, very similar to other lamps from them, you're also able to turn it on or off at specific times during the day automatically, as well as use it as a wake-up light, which means, for example, in the morning, it will gradually get brighter and brighter to try and stimulate you to also wake up. So again, overall, it is very dazzling, beautiful, and quite easy to control with tons of settings that you can play around with from their companion app. Let's take a closer look at the same effect uh, if we had it pointed at a corner. So overall, I would say the effect is best if you are pointing it at a corner. That creates really the most interesting look, in my opinion. Uh, but overall, anywhere you position it, it looks really modern and sleek. Having just this tall tube definitely is a conversation starter. As usual, it has all the same customization we've come to expect from Govee's products, just now in a slightly different form factor, this one here being a room light so it's able to stand up tall and again create all of these different shades and patterns and still is very simple to use and elegant when placed into any setting so you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below but for now that's been our video thanks for watching here at os reviews